First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. In the whirlwind of our daily lives, where each day seems to blur into the next, it's the small, seemingly insignificant habits that wield the power to transform our entire existence. Stoic philosophy, with its profound emphasis on self-mastery and resilience, teaches us that greatness doesn't erupt through monumental acts, but through the quiet consistency of small actions. Today, we uncover five such habits that, though small, are mighty in their ability to reshape your life. From the moment you open your eyes in the morning to the last thought before sleep, these practices can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary, guiding you toward a life of greater fulfillment and tranquility. Let's delve into these transformative habits and see how, by embracing the wisdom of Stoicism, we can cultivate a life of purpose and peace. If you appreciate the insights and guidance we're sharing here, a simple free favor you can do for us is to hit the subscribe button. Please don't skip any part of the video so you can fully benefit from each valuable lesson we explore together. Let's get started. Habit 1. Morning Meditation In the tranquil pursuit of a stoic life, morning meditation emerges not merely as a practice but as a foundational ritual deeply ingrained in the philosophy's call for clarity, mindfulness, and self-control. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that teaches the development of self-control and fortitude as a means to overcome destructive emotions, advocates for living a life of virtue aligned with reason. Meditation, therefore, is not just a quiet start to the day, but a profound alignment of the mind with the stoic values of wisdom and equanimity. Imagine starting each day not in a rush of anxiety or a scramble to meet demands, but with a moment of serene reflection where your mind is set to embrace calmness and prepare for the day's challenges with a composed demeanor. This practice roots itself in the stoic principle of focusing on what one can control. Your thoughts and your responses. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor and philosopher, highlighted the importance of preparing one's mind each morning to face the world with courage and tranquility. He practiced what is often considered a form of meditative journaling in his work Meditations, where he reflected on and reinforced his Stoic beliefs. In this practice of morning meditation, you are encouraged to sit quietly perhaps at dawn when the world is still and the mind is uncluttered by the day's noise. Here, in this solitude, focus on your breathing, observe your thoughts without judgment and gently guide your mind towards thoughts of what is within your control, your actions and your reactions. This is not about escaping from the world but preparing to engage with it more fully. You can contemplate a stoic virtue such as temperance or justice, considering how you might embody these ideals throughout your day. Moreover, the practice often involves setting intentions that are aligned with stoic teachings. For instance, you might reflect on the stoic concept of the view from above, a technique used by Marcus Aurelius, where you imagine looking at your life from a distance seeing yourself in relation to the rest of the world. This visualization helps cultivate a sense of perspective, reminding you of your place in the cosmos and reducing the weight of egocentric concerns. Morning meditation also serves as a buffer against impulsive reactions to daily stresses. By starting the day with a ritual that centers and calms you, you train yourself to respond to events with reason rather than emotion. Seneca, another famed Stoic philosopher, taught that we strengthen our minds against turmoil when we anticipate and rehearse our responses to hardships. Meditation can be this rehearsal, a moment to preemptively face the day's potential challenges with a calm and prepared mind. To deepen the practice, you might incorporate readings from Stoic texts or reflections on quotes from Stoic philosophers using their wisdom as a mental model for the day ahead. 
Whether it's a passage from Epictetus about accepting things we cannot change, or a thought from Seneca on the brevity of life, each meditation can be both a lesson in philosophy and a practical exercise in living that philosophy. Morning meditation is more than just a start to the day. It's a profound enactment of Stoic principles, setting a tone of mindful presence and intentional living. It is an invitation to anchor each day in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, ensuring that every moment is met with clarity and purpose. By cultivating this habit, you embrace the Stoic ideal of a life not tossed by the waves of fortune, but navigated by the light of reason and virtue. Habit 2. Journaling For Stoics, journaling was not merely a method of self-expression, but a profound exercise in wisdom. It served as a daily ritual to examine their thoughts, align their actions with their values, and strengthen their commitment to living virtuously. In the context of Stoicism, journaling transcends the simple act of recording events. It becomes a meditative practice where one reflects on the day's actions, ponders philosophical questions, and scrutinizes personal virtues and vices. This reflective process is deeply anchored in the Stoic principle of self-awareness and the continuous pursuit of self-improvement. By writing down their thoughts, Stoics engage in a dialogue with themselves, allowing for a critical examination of their own character and behaviors. This process is akin to holding a mirror to one's soul, revealing flaws and strengths alike, and offering a pathway to betterment. Consider the impact of journaling on Marcus Aurelius, whose work Meditations, essentially his private journal, has provided invaluable insights into the application of Stoic principles. His writings reveal a man deeply committed to understanding his own nature and striving to live according to reason and virtue. Similarly, Seneca's letters, rich with philosophical discourse, show his routine of writing as a form of moral instruction, both for himself and his readers. When incorporating journaling into your daily routine, think of it as crafting a personal philosophical text that guides you through life's complexities. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to write. The best part, there's no right or wrong way to journal. You might reflect on the events of the day, the decisions you made, and the reasons behind those decisions. Were they aligned with stoic virtues? Could they have been handled better? This practice not only enhances mindfulness, but also builds resilience by regularly engaging with your thoughts and emotions constructively. Moreover, journaling can serve as a tool for practicing another key Stoic concept, the dichotomy of control. By reflecting on daily experiences, you begin to discern more clearly between what is within your control and what is not. This realization can lead to a more contented life as you focus your energy and emotions on actions you can influence, letting go of stress over those you cannot. To deepen your journaling practice, you may choose to focus on specific Stoic exercises. For instance, contemplate a quote from Epictetus or a passage from Aurelius at the start of each entry to set a thematic intention for your reflection. Over time, these entries will build a rich tapestry of personal philosophy and a practical guide on living stoically. Journaling is a form of daily training for the mind. It's an opportunity to step back from the immediacies of life and engage with your deeper values and thoughts. This stoic habit isn't just about recording life. It's about understanding it, learning from it, and preparing to meet tomorrow with a stronger, wiser, and more serene spirit. Through this practice, you embrace the stoic goal of living not just any life, but a good life, one of purpose, reflection, and virtue. Habit three, practicing gratitude. Stoicism, at its core, teaches us to appreciate what we have and to remain resilient in the face of what we don't. This aligns perfectly with the habit of gratitude, which trains us to focus on the blessings rather than the shortcomings of our daily lives. In Stoic philosophy, 
gratitude is not just a feeling, but a daily practice. A deliberate choice to recognize the value in everything around us. Epictetus, a leading Stoic thinker, urged his followers to cherish what they have, reminding them that everything they possess is borrowed from fortune and can be taken away. Thus, practicing gratitude also prepares us for the inevitability of loss, which Stoics believe should be faced without bitterness or despair. This Stoic approach to gratitude emphasizes its role in developing contentment and tranquility. It teaches us to appreciate the ordinary, to find joy in simple moments, and to understand that true happiness does not depend on external circumstances, but on our internal responses. The practice involves reflecting on even the smallest blessings, perhaps the warmth of the sun, a pleasant conversation, or simply the opportunity to have lived another day. To integrate gratitude into your daily routine, consider starting or ending your day by listing three things you are grateful for. These don't need to be grand or extraordinary. Even mundane aspects of life deserve appreciation. This practice can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant fostering a positive mindset that can endure throughout the day. Moreover, gratitude can deepen our relationships. By regularly acknowledging the contributions of others to our happiness and well-being, we build stronger, more supportive connections. This is quintessentially stoic, as the philosophy values social bonds and community, recognizing that we are social beings meant to support and be supported by others. Another way to practice Stoic gratitude is through meditation on impermanence, which involves reflecting on how fleeting life and all its gifts are. This can enhance our appreciation for them and reduce the distress we feel when they are lost. It's a practice of embracing the present and finding value in every experience, no matter how transient. Practicing gratitude is about aligning our perspective with Stoic principles, focusing on what we can control, accepting what we cannot, and finding value in both. It's a powerful habit that not only enhances our own lives, but also makes us a source of strength and positivity for others. Through this habit, we embody the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with the natural flow of life, appreciating the past, embracing the present, and welcoming the future with an open heart. Habit 4. Negative Visualization This habit might sound counterintuitive at first glance. It involves contemplating the loss of things you value as a way to appreciate them more deeply while you still have them. This technique helps foster a robust mental attitude by preparing you for possible future adversities thus reducing the emotional impact if those adversities were to actually occur. The Stoics, philosophers who were masters at preparing for life's ups and downs, championed this practice not as a form of pessimism, but as a strategy to enhance emotional resilience. By periodically envisioning the loss of someone or something dear, you not only appreciate them more while they are present, but also strengthen your ability to handle eventual losses. Seneca, one of the most notable Stoic philosophers, advised people to periodically remind themselves that nothing they have is theirs to keep. This mindset can dramatically alter our emotional responses to loss or deprivation. In practicing negative visualization, you're essentially rehearsing for potential challenges Imagine, for instance, losing a prized possession or navigating a day without modern conveniences like your smartphone or car. How would you adapt? What strengths would you rely on? Reflecting on these scenarios helps shift your focus from taking daily comforts for granted to valuing their temporary nature. This reflection isn't about dwelling on the negative, but about embracing the impermanence of life as a motivational force. This practice also ties deeply into another Stoic principle, the dichotomy of control, which teaches us to differentiate between what we can and cannot control. By mentally simulating loss, 
you focus on strengthening your internal responses, which are within your control, rather than external events, which are not. This mental fortitude, built through negative visualization, empowers you to remain composed and rational in the face of real-world difficulties. Moreover, negative visualization enhances gratitude. Not only do you learn to cherish what you currently have, but you also develop a heightened sense of presence. Each moment becomes more poignant when you acknowledge that it might not last forever. This stoic habit encourages a fuller, more engaged experience of life's fleeting beauties and paradoxically can lead to greater happiness and a more profound appreciation for life as it is, not as we fear it might end. To integrate negative visualization into your daily routine, start with just a few minutes of reflection. Consider what your life would be like without some of the things you might be taking for granted. It could be your health, your home, or your relationships. Think about how you would feel, how you would cope, and how you could possibly move forward. This isn't about creating fear or sadness, but about preparing yourself to face life's inevitable changes with strength and grace. Negative visualization, therefore, is not a practice of doom and gloom, but a transformative stoic tool to cultivate resilience, appreciation, and emotional balance. It teaches us that by contemplating the temporary nature of everything we cherish, we can live more fully, love more deeply, and embrace the present with open arms. Habit 5. Conscious Consumption. This habit is a stoic practice deeply aligned with the philosophy's emphasis on living intentionally and ethically. It encourages us to make choices that reflect our values, urging us to consider not only our needs and desires, but also the impact of our decisions on the environment and society. In Stoicism, this approach is rooted in the virtue of temperance, which calls for moderation in all aspects of life and the prudent use of resources. The Stoics taught the importance of self-control and discernment in managing one's life and resources. By practicing conscious consumption, we embody these principles, ensuring that our purchasing decisions and lifestyle habits contribute positively to our well-being and the world around us. This practice involves pausing to reflect on our real needs before acting on impulses to buy or consume. It's about asking ourselves whether our consumption habits are necessary and beneficial or merely driven by external pressures and temporary desires. Conscious consumption is not just about what we buy, but also how and why we buy it. It extends to all areas of life, including food, clothing, technology, and even media consumption. By choosing products that are ethically sourced, environmentally friendly, and genuinely needed, we make a deliberate choice to support sustainability and fairness in the marketplace. This approach challenges the modern tendency toward overconsumption and waste, promoting a more thoughtful and less materialistic lifestyle. Consider a typical scenario many of us encounter, the decision to buy a new smartphone. In a world where technology companies release new models every year, the urge to upgrade can be strong. However, conscious consumption urges us to reflect on this decision critically. Do we really need a new phone? Or are we being swayed by advertising or the allure of the latest features? Could our money be better spent? Or could we extend the life of our current device through repairs? This everyday example illustrates the practical application of stoic principles prompting us to choose actions that are reasoned and responsible rather than impulsive and wasteful. In embracing conscious consumption, we also engage with the Stoic idea of enough. Stoicism teaches that true contentment comes from within, not from material possessions. By focusing on what truly satisfies our needs rather than incessantly seeking more, we can find greater fulfillment and peace. This mindset helps us resist societal pressures to constantly acquire and hoard,
fostering a life of simplicity and authenticity. Conscious consumption is a transformative habit that aligns with the stoic pursuit of a virtuous, meaningful life. It empowers us to make choices that are good for us and good for the planet, reflecting our deepest values in our everyday actions. Through this practice, we not only contribute to a more sustainable world, but also develop personal virtues of self-control and wisdom that are central to Stoic philosophy. As we draw our exploration of Stoic habits to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the transformative journey we've embarked upon together. Stoicism, with its profound teachings on resilience, mindfulness and virtue, offers not just a philosophy, but a practical roadmap to a richer, more intentional life. By integrating Stoic practices into our daily routines, we've uncovered ways to cultivate serenity, strengthen our character, and deepen our appreciation for the world around us. The habits we've discussed are more than just activities. They are steps toward embodying the Stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature and reason. Each practice helps forge a path toward not only enduring life's challenges, but thriving amidst them, fostering a state of contentment that is not swayed by external circumstances, but rooted in internal peace. Stoicism teaches us that the essence of a good life is not found in fleeting pleasures or material success, but in the cultivation of virtue and the exercise of reason. It reminds us that every day is an opportunity to practice these principles, to turn philosophy into action. Whether it's by starting the day with a clear, focused mind, reflecting thoughtfully on our experiences, appreciating what we have, preparing mentally for life's uncertainties, or making mindful choices that reflect our values, we are continuously shaping our lives and characters in profound ways. Remember, the goal is not to achieve perfection, but to make progress. It's about striving a little each day to align our actions with our principles, to grow a little wiser, a little more composed, and a little more free from the tyranny of uncontrolled emotions. This journey of transformation is ongoing, a path that we walk every day, with each step taking us closer to the stoic ideal of a life well lived.